Hey, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how can you implement a perimeter network to on-premises data center. This is a reference architecture which shows a hybrid network that extends an on-premises network to Azure. The architecture implements a perimeter network between the on-premises network and an Azure virtual network. All inbound and outbound traffic passes through the Azure firewall. This architecture requires a connection to your on-premises data center using either a VPN gateway or an Azure Express Route connection. Typical uses for this architecture include hybrid applications where workloads run partially on-premises and partially in Azure. Infrastructure that requires granular control over traffic entering an Azure virtual network from an on-premises data center. Now let us look into the architecture. The architecture consists of following components. An on-premises network which is a private local area network implemented in an organization. An Azure virtual network that is a virtual network host, the application and other resources running in Azure. Then we have gateway. The gateway provides connectivity between the routers in the on-premises network and virtual network. The gateway is placed in its own subnet. Then we have Azure Firewall. Azure Firewall is a managed firewall as a service. The firewall instance is placed in its own subnet. Then we have Bastion. Azure Bastion allows you to log into VMs in virtual network through SSH or remote extra protocol without exposing the VMs directly to the internet. You can use Bastion to manage the VMs in the virtual network. Let us look into some of the recommendation. First recommendation is access control recommendation. So use role-based access control to manage the resources in your application and consider creating a DevOps role with permission to administer the infrastructure for the application and deploy the application components and monitor and restart VMs. And please consider a centralized IT administrator role to manage and monitor network resources. Second consideration is resource group recommendation. Azure resources such as VMs, virtual network, and load balancers can be easily managed by grouping them together into resource groups. So you need to assign our back roles to each resource group to restrict access. A resource group containing the virtual network, NSGs, and gateway resources for connecting to on-premises network assign the centralized IT administrator role to this resource group. And the third consideration is networking recommendation. So to accept traffic from the internet, add a destination network address translation rule to the Azure Firewall. Now let's look into the security consideration. The first consideration is routing all on-premises user requests through Azure Firewall. The user-defined route in the gateway subnet blocks all user requests other than those received from on-premises. The route passes allows requests to the firewall and these requests are passed on to the application if they are allowed by the firewall rules. You can add other routes as well, but, but please make sure they don't bypass the firewall or block administrative traffic intended for the management subnet. The second consideration is using NSGs to block or bypass traffic between application tiers. The traffic between tiers is restricted by using NSGs. The business tier blocks all traffic that don't originate in the web tier and the data tier blocks all traffic that don't originate in the business tier. So if you have a requirement to expand the NSG rules to allow broader access to these tiers, weigh these requirements against the security risk. And finally, assign DevOps access. So use RBAC to restrict the operation that DevOps can perform on each tier. When granting permissions, use the principle of least privilege and log all administrative operations and perform regular audit to ensure any configuration changes were planned. 
that concludes this episode in the next lesson we're going to learn about how to plan azure migration i will see you in the next one until then take care